Hi Conley Clan fam! Today we're going to talk about a little bit of a controversial subject, unschooling. We are going to talk about what it is and how I found out about it and how it applies to us. All right, so let's start with what in the heck is unschooling? So unschooling to me is basically just a different form of homeschooling. So your kids are home, you're teaching them at home, but unschooling is basically child-led learning in the home. So for instance, if you homeschool, if you do typical homeschool, uh, to me that looks like using a curriculum where it teaches the same type of stuff you learn in a classroom, only you're learning it at home. So normally you'll have, you'll still have books and you'll do all kinds of um, worksheets and you're learning the same type of math, the same type of language arts, the same exact type of um, science and social studies and all that that they learn in a typical classroom setting. Unschooling means that the kids get to choose what they are interested in learning. And what I find very cool about unschooling is that to me it really ignites a passion in your kids to want to learn things when they get to start out learning things that they actually are interested in. So I had the kids list out things, five things, that they, they were each interested in learning about if they could choose what they wanted to learn. And I found that it was really interesting. They listed some things I had no idea that they were even interested in learning about. So I thought it was really cool once I sat down and asked them, hey, what are you interested in knowing? Uh, what they said to me. So we're gonna talk about that. But let me tell you how this whole unschooling thing started. Sean and I, when we were in Texas this last time, we were on vacation with our family and we talked about how cool it would be to have a place in Texas also. So being able to be in Nebraska half the time and being in Texas half the time because Nebraska winters are really brutal and I hate winter and I hate snow. And so we talked about um, wouldn't that be cool if we could be in Texas during the winter. And so we started kind of brainstorming on what we needed to make that a reality. And of course, you can't be there half the time if your kids are going to a traditional school. The only time we'd be able to be in Texas is during the summer when it's really hot. And so we then talked about, okay, well, what does homeschooling look like for us? We have a neighbor, John, one of John's very best friends. Uh, his mom homeschools their family. They also have a very large family. They have seven kids. And so um, I went over to her house and I talked to her about how they do homeschooling, what that looks like for their large family. And she, um, kind of on a side note, laughed and talked about those unschoolers. They do not necessarily believe in unschooling, but when she said the word, I was intrigued. So I came home, I got on YouTube, and I looked up what unschooling was. And I found that there were lots of people doing unschooling. And it just, it, it really made sense to me that um, you could really spark a passion in a child by letting them uh, learn about what they're interested in. And so 
I want to go find the kids and I want to have them tell you, have them share with you what they're interested in learning about. But first, let me tell you. So we were planning on taking the kids out of school for second semester. So as um, Christmas break was coming, that would then be the kids' last day and they would not go back to school um, in January. And then we would try doing the unschooling for second semester, see how it went, feel it out. We can always put the kids back in school if we didn't feel like it's working out. So next year they could always start back at school. And I did do a lot of research to find out what my options were and how this works. Um, I've read the whole Nebraska homeschooling guide. And so I really have done my research, but we were gonna take them out second semester, except what happened? Well, Rosie lost her taste and smell. And so we have all been quarantined for two weeks and it got me thinking that maybe now's the time to pull them. So they have right now been doing homework that school gave them so they can keep up with their studies. But if they go back when we've been given the date to go back, um, they will only have about 15 days of actual school left to go to. And so I think at this point what I've decided is that we are going to go ahead and just pull them now. But let's go around and talk to the kids about what they're interested in learning and I am going to do an anonymous poll with the kids and have them put in a bucket um, whether or not they want to go back for those 15 days, if they want to go back or if they don't want to go back. So let's go find the kids and we'll see what they say. Are you guys ready to tell me what subjects you want to learn about? Yes. yes. Okay. I'm first. Jade's first. So Jade, I told you to pick five things. What'd you pick? Dog training, of course. Okay. Horse training, of course. Baking, of course. And multiplication, because I like multiplication. And there's one more. Do you remember? No. States and capitals. Oh, yeah. States and capitals. That was fun when I learned it with you. That was fun. And we could learn about countries and their capitals. Mm -hmm. There's all kinds of things we could do with that one. And multiplication. Um, you could do a refresher course. Yeah. But uh, you know it would be really fun to learn? What? is uh, doing it really quick in your head. There are some yeah. people that can multiply like two three digit numbers and they can do it all in their head. That'd be cool, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, Elena, how about you? Do you remember what you said? No. You don't? No. Okay. I remember art and fashion designing. Okay, yes, you said fashion designing. You said living things. You want to learn about living things. You want to learn about how the body works. Dinosaurs and dogs and math. Nah. What do you think about those? They're really nice. Do you still want to learn about them? Um, or is there anything else you want to add? Yeah, a lot more. A lot more? Yeah. Like? Fashion. Uh, immigrants. Oh, immigrants. Okay. What is that? Immigrants are people that? who come from other countries. Oh, like okay. pilgrims. Um, I pioneers. <laughs> pioneers, yeah. Okay, you could learn about pioneers. Immigrants. Okay, immigrants. What else? Anything? Beauty. Okay. How to put on your makeup. Those are all good topics. Rosie, what about you? Do you remember what you said? No. You don't? No. Here's my list. Why okay. don't you tell us? Cooking. Okay. A foreign language. For Ooh, which friend. foreign language? French. French. Robotics and what? Did I say? Can't read it. No, that one. Uh, making, how to make energy. Oh, oh, how to make energy. That's all, that one right there. Uh, robotics and, whoops, um, coding. Oh, coding, robotics, well, okay, Dean. Making energy and act, say acting. Did you say you wanted to learn about acting? Yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> and art. Is, is there anything else you want to learn about? Um, yeah, math. Math, okay. Um, is there a certain type? No. Just math in general? Yeah. Not division or fractions or? Uh, I, I, I actually, fractions are easy. Not think they are? I think fractions are really easy. 
Okay. They're really easy to add. Okay, anything else you can think of? No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, those are good topics, though. A lot of the robotics, like being able to code and then have a ro robot do what you coded it to do, that'd be pretty cool. Yeah? Yeah. What did you say you want to learn about? Um, Doll. Doll. Dolphins. Dolphins. Dinosaurs. Dinosaurs. Flowers. Flowers. Horses. <laughs> And what's that last one? Spies. Spies. That'd be pretty cool learning about spies. Yes. Anything else you can think of that you want to learn about? Unicorns. Unicorns? Oh, how about writing about unicorns? Like writing about fantasy. Yes. Doggy. You're really good at writing. Doggy too. Learn about dogs. Um, chickies. Chickens? Well, we have chickens. That'd be really good to learn about. Okay, now we got John here with us. John, do you want to tell us what you are excited to learn about? Yes, I'm excited to learn about. <laughs> you need to see the list. Um, yeah. Um, engineering, landscape designing, building, carving, filming, and how to start a business. Wait, Mom, this is not my thing that I did. I, I said I mouth? wanted to build. You want to learn about building too? Yeah. That's a good one. And we can learn about way more than just this stuff. This was just to get us started. So, John, those are really good topics. I think the building, you know, is something that you do with Dad, and that's something you're already learning. And filming, I know you want to start your own YouTube channel, don't you? Izzy. You keep talking to me about that. <laughs> okay, so those are really good topics. Gavin, what did you say you wanted to learn about? Building. You want to learn about building? What else did you say? Doing backflips. Yes. Spies. You and Isabella can learn about spies together. Yes. Gorillas, you said? Yes, I, I like gorillas. You like gorillas? You said you wanted to learn about the jungle? Yes. And painting. Yes. Yeah, those are all really good topics. I already know how to paint, so don't worry. Okay, I won't worry. <laughs> Lily, what did you say you wanted to I learn about? Um, ads. Adding. Yeah, adding. Add, it says I wrote addition. Oh, addition. Parenting, money, mother, nature. Mother and human body. The human body. Those are great topics. So, <laughs> Gavin doesn't want to learn about the human body. No oh, one. Lily's already taken Lily? off. Lily? She's, <laughs> she's gone. Get back. Okay. In Emma. Here. Shh. Okay. Has to get it's okay, okay. It's okay. Emma, what did you say you want to learn about? Hinduism, architecture, math, landscape designing in India. Okay, those are great topics. Mm -hmm. And like I said, those are just the start. So those are five things that we can start with. And then you guys can learn all kinds of things that you, you want to learn about from there. Yeah. But everybody had really good topics, don't you think? Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. So Except for one. Which one didn't you like? Um, human body. You don't want to learn about the human body. Me either. No, you either. I think learning about the human body, well, when I was in school, I didn't want to learn about it either. But then when I got older, I thought it was so fascinating how it works. Because I never really stopped to think about how it really does what it does. But it's like so super magic. Yeah, that's not changing my mind right now. <laughs> no. How it heals itself, how it takes all your nutrients and gets rid of waste. Mom, There's I, so I many just cool allow things. my body to do what it wants. <laughs> without <laughs> thinking about it. Without, yeah. Okay, so. okay. Okay, you guys. Well, thanks for sharing. Mm -hmm. We have everybody here at the Kitchen Island. Mm -hmm. Hi. And we're going to take an anonymous survey of who wants to stay home and who would like to go back to school for the next three weeks after quarantine. Because once we're done being quarantined, we can go back to school for three weeks before Christmas break. Okay? Kay. So... We are going to write home on our paper if we want to stay home now and school on our paper if you want to go back for the, for three more weeks. I have a question. Yes. 
So, whichever one has the most votes, do we do that one? Well, we're going to see what everybody thinks. Okay. Does that sound good? How about the one that we pick? Um, we have to do that one. You think we should do that? Yeah. Okay. Like, whatever gets the most votes. Do we write your name on it? No, this no. is anonymous. Don't yeah. write your name on it. Mommy. Okay, so either write home or school, and then we're going to put it in our bucket. Okay. Fold, can you fold it? Fold it. Well, I guess you don't have to fold it up. Okay, put it in there. Home or school? Do I have anybody down here that's ready? Hey, I can get yeah, me. Okay, oh, Joe, don't look. Ready? I'm not looking. My, you. Sorry, my camera was peeking. <laughs> my <laughs> Anybody else ready? Anybody else? Oh, no, Isabella's you, got you hers. You get me. How dare you. Gavin's got I got four of mine off so nobody sees mine. <laughs> it's on the back too so someone can see mine. Oh, no. Okay, here. Just kidding. It's just squirrels. Mom. Can we go back, go back one more day um, to say goodbye to our friends? Then no. we we'll have to ask to see no. if that's a possibility. Okay, who's left? Who's hey, left? Me, stop peeking. I know which one you picked. Okay, are we ready? Yes. <clears throat> Here's what we have. Home. <laughs> Home. Oh no. <laughs> Home. <laughs> Home. <laughs> I can't barely read it. So tiny. <laughs> but I think it says home. <laughs> yeah, it does. What does this say? <laughs> this one says school. Yay! <laughs> Really. No. Oh, this one says school. What? Wow. <laughs> Mommy. This one says home. Oh, we got one left, guys. One left. I think we all know who the winner is. Yeah. Home. It says home. No! voting and we have two schools <laughs> and six homes. I guess you guys are being homeschooled now. <laughs> Who wants to tell our friends at home what we're doing in January? <laughs> okay, let's see if Gavin knows. Gavin, what are we doing in January? I'm going to Texas. We're going to Texas! And how long are we staying, Isabella? Um, three weeks. <laughs> how long are we staying, Jane? One month. At least one month. We've rented a place for one month. And if we can stay longer, how long do we want to stay, Rosie? Uh, three months? We'd love to stay three months if we can. Because right? I can tell you why we why? You can stay three months because every three months I have to go to a doctor's appointment. You're right. We do have to come back for med checks and some doctor's appointments. And also, some therapy, I, I know therapy why. Therapy stuff, well, yep. I know I why you school. don't want to come back until three months. After why? Because you don't like the cold. I hate the cold. <laughs> Well, this is going to be quite the adventure for us. Are you ready to come along? So we would love if you guys would join us on our new unschooling adventure. And let's see how this goes. I will tell you that having the kids home for the last couple weeks has been very interesting. Uh, they're very loud. They're very crazy. Um, you would think that they are used to sitting in a school classroom and that they would do that here, but they don't. So we are having to learn how to be quiet and do our work quietly. We are having to learn how to be more positive. We are learning how to get along with your siblings uh, because friends are different than siblings. So there are a lot of lessons going on in this house right now uh, and it is crazy chaotic and there are a lot of things the kids are having to learn because being home all day is so different if you guys have not yet subscribed to our channel though click here to subscribe to our channel now 
If you haven't caught our first quarantine video, click here to watch that video now. Bye guys.